Hello, I'm Dr. Rachel Catteru. I'm a surgeon at the University of Alberta. I'm also a member of the Surgical Infection Society. This is a series of videos, and hopefully you would have watched our previous one on how to scrub. This one's on how to gown and glove. It's very important because the gown and the gloves are sterile, and they prevent the spread of infection from you to your patient, but also prevents the infection from the patient to you. Let's get ready to learn how to gown and glove. Enter the operating room backwards with forearms tilted up. Do not touch anything. Keep your hands and forearms up to prevent contaminated water or scrub solution from running downwards into your hands and arms. Wait for the scrub nurse to assist you. If you've used a water-based scrub, ask for a sterile towel to dry the hands off. Place your first hand underneath one side of the towel and use it to wipe your opposite hand and arm. Now take that second hand underneath the opposite side of the towel to use to wipe your first one. Now you've used both sides of the towel. Make sure you're leaning forward so the towel does not touch your scrubs and become contaminated. Put the gown on. Hold your arms out and put them into the sleeves of the gown. Shrug your arms into the gown until your hands are down to the ends of the sleeves. Only your fingertips should be peeking out of the cuffs. You cannot touch the outside of the gown with your bare hands, so don't put them all the way through. Be very careful not to touch anything unsterile with the sterile area of your gown. If you do, you'll need a new gown. If your bare hands touch anything unsterile, you'll need to re-scrub. An unsterile member of the team will tie the back of your gown, because remember, this is unsterile. For this reason, make sure to avoid brushing up against the surgical field with your back. Insert the right hand into the open surgical glove. When you're ready to put on your gloves, the scrub nurse will hold the right glove open for you to put your hand into. Resist the temptation to fix the glove if it doesn't go on properly. You'll be able to fix this once both gloves are on. Use the right hand to open the left glove, touching the outside of the glove only. Insert the left hand. Once you have one pair of gloves on, you can now pull up the sleeves of your gown so they are not bunched up in your gloves. Remember, that cuff is not sterile, so that should never be showing outside of your gloves. You can now put on your second pair of gloves. Untie the knot at the front. This is the last process to do. It's sterile, so you can touch it now that you have the gloves on. Hand the right end to the scrub nurse. Turn 360 degrees, take it back and tie it. Now we're gonna go over the components of a gown that are sterile. I'm not appropriately dressed for this video, but Stephanie will demonstrate this for us. When a gown is taken out of the package, it's considered sterile. However, when it's worn, there are only specific components that are considered sterile. As you can see here on Stephanie, the areas that will be considered sterile are the parts that she can see. So it will be from the line of the axilla for the front all the way to the top of her working field. For the arms, it will be from the elbows all the way to the cuffs. And the cuffs are never considered sterile and should always be covered by a glove. The back of the gown is never considered sterile. Again, because you can't see it. So I want you to remember this because when you're working in a sterile environment, you need to know which components can actually touch uh, another sterile object. After your work is done in the OR, you'll need to scrub out. This is the easy step. Undo the front tie on your gown. Do this with your gloves still on to avoid touching your dirty gown. Ask for assistance to undo the ties at your back. It's important not to do this step by yourself because your gloves will be dirty and you don't want to contaminate your hair, neck, or scrubs. Ask an unscrubbed member of the team to do this for you. Remove and discard the gown. Remove and discard the gloves. Make sure to remove them so your bare hands do not contact the dirty outsides of the gloves. You can do this by hooking underneath the roll glove. You can remember it by glove to glove, then 
skin to skin. This is not just the way to remove sterile gloves. It's the way you should remove all gloves when you're in the hospital. Remove and discard the mask. If the operation is still in progress, leave your mask on until you exit the OR. Remove the mask without touching the front, which is now contaminated. Last but not least, wash your hands. You're all done. <laughs>